This week, we are discussing chapter seven, Entitlement and Gratitude. Merriam-Webster defines entitlement as a belief that one is deserving of or entitled to certain privileges. On page 143, the author states that entitlement is when pride and comfort combine. Then again, on page 146, the author defines entitlement as the most basic level is focusing on what we believe we deserve. It's a hyper-awareness of our rights. Expectations are, I expect, where entitlement is, I deserve. If we allow it, it can easily be the filter to which we look through the lens of our daily lives. We are blessed to live in a free country. And that country allows us rights as citizens. And while those rights, from a political perspective, may be good and beneficial to us, They are a stark contrast from the mission of the gospel as we have no rights in the kingdom of God. We're called to serve and to think of others higher than ourselves. That's not easy in our American culture. To feel as though we are giving away the things that we have earned or have been given a right to have. In Philippians 2, 3 through 5, it says, Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. Don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. You must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. While reading this chapter, I was challenged to not allow myself to become too comfortable in my day-to-day living so that I would see the opportunities to be uncomfortable for God's purpose in my life. To be aware of the situations or circumstances that would allow me to serve people with the mission of the gospel, even when it challenges the untitled, entitled parts of my heart. On page 148, the author states, you cannot be grateful for what you feel entitled to. And again, on page 151, he says the gospel kills entitlement if we have a right understanding of what Jesus did for us. We understand that by our actions, we are deserving of hell and eternal separation from God. That's what we're entitled to. But because of the sacrifice of Jesus on our behalf, we receive something we do not deserve and are not entitled to. We can be grateful that we are forgiven sinners We're not entitled to the grace that saved us from ourselves. As kingdom people, we have the privilege of living with the gratitude of the cross and the price paid for us. Gratitude lived out will look differently to every person. It could be that daily list of things that we write out and say, God, thank you for this. I'm grateful for that. It could be the nightly prayer at the end of the day to reflect on all the goodness that we've been able to have throughout that day. It could be a different change in our life that allows the the fruit of the work of God in our lives to be seen. Ultimately, recognizing the entitlements we have and removing them settles the gratitude in our hearts. It offers hope of the one who calls us to become more like him. There's three questions to ask yourself today. Number one, How do you struggle with entitlement in your life? Number two, take five, 10 minutes and make a list of all the things you have complained about in the past week. That will give you a glimpse into what you feel entitled to. What stands out to you from this exercise? And number three, how can you take a step in growing in gratitude today? Enjoy your discussion.